In this module, we will review how to perform transcutaneous pacing. The process begins with attaching the hands-free cables. Using the diagram on the pads package or on the cable connectors themselves, attach them to the patient's chest wall. Turn the monitor defibrillator into pacer mode. Confirm that you're seeing a rhythm. We are not seeing a rhythm because this particular device also needs to have input from the limb leads. We will attach the limb leads. Next, we're going to use the soft buttons at the bottom of the screen to turn on the asynchronous pacer by pressing the soft button. Look for confirmation that you've activated the pacer when it says asynchronous pacing toward the bottom of the screen. Next, we're going to set the rate using the rate dial. We can dial it up or down as we need to. I'm going to set it to 70 beats per minute. The next step is to set the power output or the energy output. That's in milliampers and we have a dial here for that. Many patients achieve capture in the 60 to 70 milliampere range. You should turn this slowly at first to see how things look on the screen. You want to observe for capture. Capture is a downward pacing spike immediately followed by a QRS complex. And we want to make sure that we see that consistently on the screen. The minimum output needed to achieve capture is called the patient's threshold. We're going to adjust the output 10% above this setting. Finally, we're going to Confirm the effectiveness of pacing by checking the patient's pulse and blood pressure.